Hey guys, it's Adrienne from Hello Harris Homeschool. Today I'm going to start talking about curriculum picks for the 2022-2023 school year. So hey, if you're new here, I love to talk all things homeschool on this channel as well as a family life and motherhood. And today I am so excited. I'm going to share my curriculum picks. So my plan is to do a separate video for each grade. And then my last video will be our family subjects. So today I am going to show you my upcoming second graders curriculum. I can't believe you're going to second grade. I keep wanting to just leave them in first grade forever in my head. I cannot grasp that, but I have got his curriculum picked. So before I show you all the things that I have for my upcoming second grader, I just want to let you know that down in the description, I will have a link to the blog post with all of these things that I'm going to show you and mention. Um, I will have that in the blog post. So check that out if you would rather just jump to the blog or check it out after you see me flip through some of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or send me an email. I would love to answer any questions that you have, but let me show you all the things I have for my second grade. So I'm going to start with what we call our morning work. Um, we started that this year and it has, it started off as a struggle. They didn't really like it, but um, the things that we used this past year in our morning work have really helped them um, solidify some of the things that we've been learning in math and writing and phonics. So um, every morning we start off with our gratitude journals. Um, I had previously bought some, but I made some the, for the end of this year and we're just going to continue with these for next year as well. So I just printed these out for free. And it's just my gratitude journal. There's several different pages and it's got some Bible verses about gratitude in the front. And then it's got um, a couple of affirmation pages. And then they mostly just look like this. You'll put the date and how you're feeling. Um, we forgot to do it this day, but it's got three things I'm grateful for today. I draw a picture and then today's best moment. And the way that we've been doing this is um, we'll do our gratitude journal in the morning and then we'll take it and we'll put it next to the couch. So at bedtime, we'll write in our best moment from the day, but it's been hit or miss on if we remember to do the second part. We're really good about doing the gratitude and not so good about this, but I'm hoping to get better because I really enjoy um, doing that. And then there's also this format. So it's basically the same thing, just without the date and um, the pictures. So it's three things you're grateful for and the best moment of the day. So we start off our day with some gratitude. And then we have a folder that we use. I'll show you my other sons. So we just stick it in a folder. And so for my second grader next year, we have really worked on time this year and I want to continue working on it. So I went on Canva and I made up this time check sheet. I cannot take credit for this. Um, I saw this on a free um, homeschool Facebook page where someone had taken a sticky note and they would just ask their student at random times throughout the school day what time it was and then they would have to write it down. So I loved that idea. I thought it would um, just help them to really practice um, checking the time. I find myself, if I'm not looking at a regular clock on a regular basis, then I struggle to go back and read the time. So if we are all working on that, then we will be well versed in how to read the clock. So I just went on Canva and I made up this little worksheet and laminated it so we can use it every day. So there'll be one, two, three, four times throughout the school day that he will check the time and write it down. And that will go in his folder. And then uh, I got this for free. It is the abbreviations and the states. So this year we practice labeling all the states for first grade. And so for first, second grade, I just want to kind of review that. And it's just got the abbreviations and then it has the master list um, with the state's name. So I just want to not all of these every day. The way we did it this year was we did um, about two states per week that he would just practice writing um, the abbreviations on the map and then we would go over it and he would just add to it or if he was feeling like he wanted to do a lot he would add them so 
we'll do this in the same way where we'll just pick two, one, however many we're feeling that week and write it out. And it just has really helped him. He's gotten really good at that. Um, so that will go in his morning work folder. And then I don't have them. I haven't um, made them or found them somewhere yet, but I want to practice labeling the seven continents. So I need a world map and then maybe um, start practicing labeling some of the countries. And I really like to let him pick what he wants to label. So I'm hoping to do it that route where he can just kind of pick which continent he wants to look at the countries and we can label them that way. So we are still working on some geography, but it is interest led a little bit. Um, so those will go in his morning work folder too. Next, um, I want to work on him having some Bible study time. Now he will be in second grade and he is not, um, he has started reading, but he is not a very fluent reader. So as he grows in his reading skills, I want him to start work working on reading through some of the Bible. So I got this read and learn Bible and I think he's going to be really excited about this. Um, he loves reading Bible stories. He wants to read the Bible. Um, he has read bits of scripture on his own and it excites him so much. So I got him this and we will work up to doing this more often. And then he has um, a Bible journal that we started this year and we haven't used very many pages in it, but he's just been drawing pictures to narrate and we'll put the Bible verse or something that he wants to write about it or label the picture. Um, and we'll just continue with that where he can draw a picture about what he read or he can write something that he read or he can um, dictate it to me and I'll write it down. But I just want to work on Bible study habits. Um, that is something I have struggled with as an adult and I have been working on that in my personal life and I would love to help my children grow in that in early years and not struggle like I have. So Bible, so it's morning work, Bible and gratitude. Those are hopefully the things that we will get done in the morning next year. And then for map, we are going to, so I haven't bound this yet and I haven't made a cover. Um, this is a free printable off of Google Books, I believe. This is first year in numbers and this will be his math curriculum. So if you saw my previous video about my favorite curriculum from this year, you saw that I also used a free book called Number Stories and he used Number Stories too. And it's been wonderful. And I think um, this is similar to that, but it's less of a story, but it's still just as sweet. And I feel like this is gonna be just as thorough. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I will link all of these things um, in my blog post below for all of my second grade curriculum picks and this will be in there but i will give you a little sneak peek in here so the table of contents um, it starts off with lots of review things like counting and building the names of the numbers um, counting one more two more you know just the basics and then it goes on pretty quickly after that so you go through all the way to the number 10 coins measuring and then all the way through the number 20. Um, and then you'll go into addition and subtraction, building numbers from 20 to 100, um, lots of addition and subtraction review. And then um, there's lots of measurements. And then you start talking about telling time, the table of fours. Let me show you that. Okay. So then you're just gonna go into the table of fours. So it shows you these pairs here, these groups of pairs. And it says how many pairs are in each dish, how many pairs are in all. Um, and then it's just kind of teaching you the times tables. So by the end of this, you should at least be introduced to the times tables. Um, I'm not sure if we will get through this whole book in one year. Um, we might not finish number stories two completely by the end of this year. So we might start at the beginning of the year, finishing that and then going into but I am excited about this and I will um, bind this and make a cover for it. Um, and then he can just write in this like a workbook. So if you're interested in a free math curriculum, I'm so excited about this. And then moving on to language arts, we are going to do alpha phonics cursive um, phonogram cards. So he started um, practicing some of the alphabet in cursive this year. So we're just going to continue with this. It's again in a free printable um, and I will link that as well. So it just tells you the letter and then it explains to you down here how to 
write it. And so it'll go through and then it will put some of them together. Let me see if I can find one. There we go. So then you'll start learning to put some of them together. And so he's going to um, just kind of review with some of this for next year. And then I also got another free printable. Um, this was part of one of those mega homeschooling bundles that I got last year. So I'm not sure if this is still available, but I will check and if I can find it, I will link it because I think it's really sweet. Um, so this is two different things that I kind of mashed together for some copy work. So this is from a childhood set apart and it is two separate things, but from the same um, blog. So there's the nature alphabet tracing. So I really liked this because you'll write it in print here. So you can copy it, write it in print, and then copy it in cursive and write it in cursive. And I thought that would be just some really good practice. And this goes with, um, they have flashcards that go with this. They have a whole beautiful set that goes with this. So I only printed out um, this copy work stuff. So this just walks you through the whole alphabet and it's you're supposed to um, cut these sheets in half and make like a mini book and it will go all the way to the letter Z but I kept it on a whole sheet so that I could put it with this other set of copy work and it is more um, copy work in cursive and it's part of the same set so it's got the same um, pictures and words for each letter but this has a little poem that you will copy about that letter here. So this one is, A was an ant who seldom stood still and made a nice house in the side of a hill. So I just thought this would be good for some copy work and it was free and beautiful. So that is what we're going to use and let's see how far we get. And maybe we'll need something extra, but I have it at least and it was free, which is my favorite. <laughs> okay. So before I show you all the things that I have for my upcoming second grader, I just want to let you know that down in the description, I will have a link to the blog post with all of the things that I'm going to show you and mention. Um, I will have that in the blog post, so check that out if you would rather just jump to the blog or check it out after you see me flip through some of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or um, send me an email, however you want to okay and then uh, the last few things we have are the rest of what would be his language arts curriculum we started gentle grammar this year and we have not finished it i think um we're currently on lesson 20 so we might finish a few more lessons in this but that's about half the book that we have left so we'll finish this one and probably start on level two of gentle grammar um, this is from Sherry Hayes, and she has adapted this from an old grammar book and turned it into more of a workbook style, but that is still um, just beautiful and simple and well written. So you can buy these on Amazon or you can get them from her blog for free to print out. Um, I did buy this last year, but if we get to level two, I will just go and print it out myself. So gentle grammar. And then for a reader, we have the McGuffey Readers. Um, we are about in the middle of this one. This is the pictorial eclectic primer um, in the original ones. These are not the revised edition. So we will continue with this. We may do some of this in the summer and I love these kinds of things. I don't feel like I have to reach a certain um, number of lessons or get to a certain number. We are just gonna keep chugging along through this book for second grade. And then our last thing is Alpha Phonics. So we have not finished this this year, but we will finish this next year. And it will not take us the whole year. We are on um, about lesson 90. And I think there's like 120 or 130 lessons in here. So we will only have a few lessons in the beginning of second grade but we have just been chugging along in this one and we're going to keep it for next year. So I think that is it for my second graders independent subjects. Um, we covered morning work, Bible time, and language arts and math. I am considering adding some kind of creative writing journal 
um, not something that would be required all the time, but something more um, for his interests. He has started really loving to write. He'll make up little books. Um, he made an I Love You book one time, and yeah, I will forever keep it. It is the sweetest thing ever. So I thought that he would be interested in that. Just fun um, writing prompts or questions. And I haven't decided if I'm going to attempt to make it myself or um, find it from somewhere else free or to purchase. So if you have any suggestions on a good creative writing journal, either free or to purchase, let me know down below because I am on the search. So thank you for watching. If you liked this, please subscribe, like this video, and keep an eye out because my next video will be for my upcoming first grader. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or send me an email. I would love to answer any questions that you have, but let me show you all the things I have for my second grade.